Good morning from Canterbury, New Zealand. Uh, we are doing the second harvest for the aubergines or eggplant today. Uh, I'm saying second because this is the second footage that we are making on camera. Uh, indeed, this is the fourth harvest. We have missed out on two of them. And uh, the ability uh, of the aubergines in the open in, in Canterbury, the idea was to show you that. Let's crack on with that. So, good morning from uh, Canterbury, New Zealand. Today is uh, Sunday, it's 21st of March. Welcome to Project Food Garden. So, you've just seen that uh, we have harvested uh, the fourth lot officially and the unofficially second lot of uh, the aubergines. Um, there was a conversation that was going on on social media about uh, ability of the people to grow aubergines out in the open. We are in autumn. We have harvested uh, yet again aubergines, which are really good quality. If I could show you closely, look at uh, look at uh, the color of the fruit. Look at the health of the fruit. It's really nice and solid. So, what we are doing now is today we're going to be making uh, a Greek dish where you make incisions, straight incisions into the aubergines. You fill them up with the spices and uh, then with tomatoes, feta cheese, and then you top it up with uh, a bit of. Uh, extra virgin olive oil, shove it in the oven for 45 minutes. It's absolutely amazing. So coming back to the point, everybody who wants to grow eggplant, the ideal time for you to do the indoor germination, or if you wanna bring the seedlings from the market, um, if I would do an indoor germination, just sharing knowledge, I would put the seed down in the potting mix in the last week of July. So by the time you hit end of September, they have grown enough for you to be transfer them into the patch. Now mind you, when you are transferring these plants into the patch, if you can see, we have put them in uh, a place where these plants have got sun for not less than uh, minimum five and maximum eight hours. I mean, this patch, it gets sun all day long. And so did uh, the patch on the other side. So they need to get ample sun, uh, try and put uh, companion plants with flowers. What I did this summer was I didn't harvest my uh, reddish plants because they they come in bloom with an amazing blossom. They do loads of flowers, so it attracts a lot of bees. And that eventually helps in pollination. So initially when I hadn't put uh, the reddish plants right next to it, the aubergine plants were giving blossom and, and it was falling down. But I tell you what, the minute I put the reddish plants next to it, it was loaded with blossom. I had all kind of bees coming into the garden the white butterflies even, I mean, they've destroyed my cabbages, but yet yeah, they were sitting on the blossom and they were doing the pollination and stuff. So it turned out really good. So, so far uh, from these uh, six plants, we have had uh, harvested uh, pretty much around uh, 18 aubergines, including these. And there, I think there are 10 more on the plant right now. And uh, from the sounds of the weather, I think we'll, we'll get more production out of it before the end of the summer, before uh, we properly not at the end of the summer, before we properly move into autumn. But once again, take a look at this. Take a look at this. So we are having uh, Greek aubergines for lunch and uh, we're gonna enjoy that. We'll definitely let you know. By the way, uh, those who have seen the video for uh, the blood peaches that we have done today, it was one of the most juicy, delicious and tastiest peach I've ever had in my life. So come spring, uh, if you guys want to enjoy blood peaches, procure your trees from the nearest garden. If anybody is living in Christchurch and they need an offshoot, <clears throat> more than happy to help you with uh, giving you an offshoot free of cost. So on that note, we will bid you farewell. Have a lovely morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. Keep watching Project Food Garden. Keep giving us your comments. I'm really overwhelmed with the response that I'm getting from around the world. Really appreciate everybody who's supporting the channel. Have a lovely time to all of you. Stay safe in pandemic and we'll see you soon. Goodbye.